Alright guys, just gonna go into a quick video lesson on kind of some of the tips and tricks of watch list management. So I am lead trainer Tim Bowen back with you. Just gonna go over a lot of the little things that I do to manage watch lists. Um, I quite, I always keep, um, you know, I'm a day trader, a swing trader, so I always have a rolling one week list of stocks. So quite frequently, the same stock is in play multiple days. So I have a, I create a watch list for each day of the week. I've got a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday list. And then what I do is, and you can see that, you can just click on the name of the watch list and grab the list you want, or we also just have the scroll up and down bar right there next to it. But so what I do is as I research a stock, um, whatever it is, I click on it. If it is something that is interesting to me potentially the next day, then what I would do is um, I use the function, um, you know, something like ARROI we were trading last week. So I use this to right click and then add to watch list. So now I then roll that over, my own made up term, to the Tuesday list. So now what I do is, you know, say 10 of these stocks, um, only half of them, maybe two of them, maybe one of them, maybe none of them will be in play the next day. So I go through that list, look at the chart, look at the news, and then roll that over to the next list. The other thing that a lot of people don't realize is um, a lot like Excel, if you right click the title uh, bar, you can add new columns. Um, so I turn on, the biggest ones I always have on are float as well as news. And then you can also obviously um, delete those, like I have market turned on. I'll trade OTCs, I'll trade NASDAQs, I'll trade anything. So I usually don't really care that much about what market it is. So I can remove that. But then you can see, I can see the float in one quick look. I can see the news, um, you know, in real time. If a news article comes in, you'll get that number there. You can click on it, go over to your news feed and see what's up. And then, of course, I want to know the price, percentage change, and then the volume. Now, those are, again, fully configurable. I mean, you can see we have a ton of, of different options that you can add there. Then the other thing, last thing I want to go over is just, again, if you're scrolling through, looking at stocks, say you see a ticker that you recognize and it's something you've traded in the past, it's interesting to you, you don't have to double click it and bring up the total view. If it's an interesting ticker, like to me Excel is, I can just right click that, add that to my Tuesday watch list and boom. Then as I'm screening for tickers, I recognize with volume, with float, with other characteristics that I'm looking for, I can add them quickly to that list. And then that happens any, anywhere and everywhere, basically, including, like, say, if um, I went to my related companies, um, we can then have, uh, you know, say, whatever ABT is, I can right-click that, add to watch list for Tuesday, and then, uh, you know, so if I'm researching a stock, I go to my related tab, there's, again, tickers I'm interested in, because I recognize them from the past, maybe I've seen them on Twitter, whatever, I can right click them, add them to watch from anywhere. So just a lot of nice little things. And then also you can always just type in any ticker on the uh, box, at the, the quick box, or comma delimit them. And like I'll use this a lot of times, I'll cut and paste tickers, maybe if I was doing my research in a text document or something like that, I can cut and paste those, uh, hit enter, and they add. So. Just some quick tips, tips on watch lists. Any other questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Thanks, guys.